<laughs> You're being a nutter. You bloody are, ain't ya? You gorgeous boy, ain't ya? Hey. Look at that. Goat fell by the clothes cut the top of it. Looks amazing, man. Well, that ain't a bad place for the park up, is it? Very nice. I'm at Whiting Bay again. I actually came here to use the facilities, but the label was full. But as I was driving out the town, I saw a car park on the left, by the bridge, and I pulled in, and then I saw a sign for a waterfall. And there's me parked up with Holy Oil and Beyond now. And those two gentlemen there were talking to me. One's very Scottish sounding and the other one's very posh. But they were very, very nice. The one's walking his dog and the other one's tending to the pots, getting rid of the dead daffodils and stuff. But I have to say, the people have been very friendly. Let's hope it brightens a bit. But it still looks nice. Oh, all the Swifts, all the House Martins are flying around. Not sure which from here. Been walking about five minutes thus far. Got Wolfie do with me, of course. I did want to walk to the Giant's Graves, but but it says it's three hours and it's quite strenuous. If Carl was with me, I'd do it. But on my own with Wolfie, and plus I didn't realise I got no water or anything, so that's that really. Bit of an uphill clamber. It's a bit mucky, but it ain't the worst. But it's sort of like sandy. So, at least it's sandy mud as opposed to mud mud. Don't know how much further it is though. Somebody said half hour. We've got to be nearly walking that now. Got waterfall there, but that's not the main bit. And here as well. But this isn't the main waterfall. But ain't it gorgeous? And we've actually got to walk up that slope where that other couple are. If you can see her, she has got a bright red coat on, so I'll be surprised if you can't. 
Look at that for a view. Proper glen. If I zoom, I can just about make out the sea. And there they are. Absolutely beautiful. I've walked back the way I came. There's quite a few people turning up now, as well as midges. Gorgeous though. Oh, I'm glad to be back at the van. Look at that for a view though. Water so still, like a silvery grey mirror. It's beautiful. That was a cracking little find I never knew about. That waterfall was really, really nice. Don't know where I'm going from here. Probably going to head into Black Water Foot, but I could do it top in my water up while I'm here. But don't really want to turn back just to go down there to have a look because if I can't get in the lay-by it's a waste I don't know don't know what to do so I don't know if you can get water in black water foot and you can here at Whiting Bay but who knew all that glorious waterfall and woodland was at the back of here I just thought it was like a little coastal sleepy town but I was wrong, got more to it than that. Are you hiding, Wolf? Are you hiding? Tying a bad place to wall away a few hours, is it? Hey, birdie, eh? just whizzed past.
Well, I'm at a very cold and windy black water foot. Can't believe the difference from where I just was. Well, I'll say just a couple of hours ago. You can see the car park there. It is busy. There's the car park. It's a car park opposite the golf course. There's probably one, two, three, four, five, six vans on there about three cars I've actually parked at the end of the road in like a concrete lab or a bit opposite a house because I couldn't get on there and I don't really want to move on because where do I want to go tomorrow I'll be driving past that to get to my next park up so I'd rather stay where I am it is quite a nice beach here look at that strip of blue Oh, that's coming over here. That's where I'm parked up. Got my own picnic bench. It's not too bad. There is a house opposite, but they've got a really high edge. So hopefully I'll be okay. I'll be out early in the morning anyway. <laughs> 